welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Natasha do not forget to subscribe because if you click the video you were like kind of interested so you might as well just commit okay okay so today I'm gonna be installing this wig from RPG hair shout out to them for sponsoring today's video they sent over this yakky texture which you guys know I've really been into this like natural look no baby hair look like this is unclockable okay this is unclockable and this is tea this may look crazy to somebody but this looks like my kitchen so it only makes sense like it just it just makes sense to me okay don't get me wrong i love me a baby hair moment i love a little super doop 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 and going like doop and like doop but this just gives to me like it's just so cute and also very very easy to install you don't have to worry about baby hairs and you can also wear this glueless because this is not even glued down all the way or sprayed down because it is if i lift these tabs up yeah so yeah if you want to see how i got this look make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel once again liking this video and do not forget to check out the description box for the information on this hair per usual okay so keep watching all right guys as you can see i have this week from rpg hair and they sent over this kinky straight unit which you guys know i have been loving with the kinky curly edges so it gives this very realistic look you don't have to worry about baby hairs and a lot of people i realize don't really care for baby hairs anyway so this is the wig for you so although they look curly they don't have to be curly once you like brush them or um if you want to hot comb them they just look like natural edges but they don't have that super straight um silky look which sometimes with um lace it can kind of give that barbie look just a little bit too perfect this looks a little bit more realistic and to me the hairline on this is not as straight and boxy it just looks like a natural hairline so i personally really really like the kinky edges so i'm just you know doing my thing i'm adjusting my wig i'm cutting my ear tabs i always start by cutting my ear tabs because that way i can see how the wig's laying and where i need to lay it so y'all know me i don't do ball caps and i don't do glue so I'm spraying my even spray all over my hairline and that's pretty much it you guys I do the easiest wig installs and 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 I did not wash this wig this was actually straight out the box I've noticed with RPG hair wigs I'm able to wear them straight out the box because they don't have a funny film on the hair they don't have a funny smell anything like that they come which I'm sure a lot of my wigs come clean but this I can tell that they like washed before sending it to me and also something i don't speak on a lot of times rpg hair every time they send me a wig there it's custom so it does take a little longer which i don't mind but i know that the wig is being handmade it's custom made and it is made to order which is good you're not getting something that's being made in a mass production where there might be flaws or lack of quality control so that's why i really like rpg hair because every time i get a wig from them you guys it is flawless. I decided to keep it safe with the styling today only because I had a really busy day and I wanted a functional hairstyle but if you guys have any suggestions on how I could style this kinky um, texture let me know because I've really been into the kinky texture but I wear it at the same time all the way and I don't want to bore you guys so if you guys have any ideas of like what you guys want to see with this texture please comment down below and let me know but I'm using my bigger um, curling iron and I'm doing random pieces random curls and i'm just curling away from my face just to give me body i don't necessarily want curls i just want my hair to have a lot of body and volume so i'm literally curling my hair holding it for a few seconds and then spraying it with my sebastian hairspray and my hair pretty much stays like this all day so that's why i like doing this method
So as you can see, I was trying to be very time efficient today. So while my lace was laying, I did curl my hair. And now that the um, even spray is completely dry and the lace is laid, I'm just cutting the lace. And because of this curly, kinky edge, you guys, it already has like created a hairline for me. So it makes it super easy. Like, and it looks so natural. So all I'm doing right here is just kind of um, spraying down those little pieces that are lifting up but also if you decide to wear this wig without any adhesive you can because of how the the wig is like you can wear this without gluing or spraying down your wig and it's gonna look natural you can literally take this on and off every day so if you've been wondering if you should get this wig you should and you need to now so do not worry about my um, cap underneath. I actually used a nude cap because that's all I had in front of me. But I'm, all I'm going to do is put some powder in the part and it's going to tone it down. And it's not going to be a big deal. I literally have just never been into the ball cap. It's so messy, y'all. I just can't do it. So I just cut corners where I can. So you guys see me doing that here. And it still looks a little crazy, but I did fix it throughout the video. You just have to trust the process and go with the vibes, okay? So at this point, I'm just kind of um, loosening up the edges. Um, I don't want to spray it again like I normally would. I would normally spray it again and then lay it, but that's going to like plaster the baby hairs down and I don't want that look. I want it to look fluffy and like I've kind of had a rough long day, but like I'm still fabulous. That's the vibe that I'm going for. So I'm just kind of loosening them up and you just kind of got to do the motion that I'm doing. I can't explain it, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm just putting some finishing touches on my hair and just fluffing it up and playing with it, seeing if I want to cut any more layers, which I did cut layers. I didn't say that, but I did. Um, and just kind of playing with it, finger combing it. And that's it. I did do my makeup off camera and I did do a separate makeup video. So make sure you guys check that out on my other channel. But um, that pretty much is it, you guys. Make sure you guys check out RPG Hair. I will leave all the information down. Like, look at the hair. Oh my gosh. I will leave all the information for this wig down below. Make sure you guys check them out. And I will see you guys in my next video.